if you follow any cleaning influencers on TikTok or on Instagram, then chances are you have come across this, the Sonic Scrubber. It's a cleaning tool that looks a lot like an electric toothbrush, except that this is not for polishing your teeth. This is to help you with cleaning chores around the house. The makers of the Sonic Scrubber say that it saves you effort on scrubbing. It will also save you time because it's doing a lot of the hard work for you and it can also reach really tricky areas. I'm a big fan of saving time and effort wherever I can, so I thought I would give the Sonic Scrubber a try. I've been testing it all around my home and I wanted to share with you what I think about it and what you can actually use it for. First of all, what do you get in the box with the Sonic Scrubber? So it comes like this and you've got a base unit which is where your batteries actually are and it came with the batteries which was great comes with four different brush heads so this one is a sort of smaller standard brush this is the large brush head this is a gentle brush head that is intended for sort of fabrics and kind of areas that you know are a bit more delicate and then this is a corner tool that is for reaching hard to reach areas as you can see these are all flat brushes and this one is pointed so that's for getting into hard to reach corners and edges. Putting brush heads on the Sonic Scrubber is really really simple. You just place it on and then twist to lock it and then you twist back again to remove it. When you need to clean the actual cleaning brushes you just detach them from the base of the device and then you can put these in the dishwasher. Operating it is really really simple. The button to switch it on and off is here so you can either push it for a quick burst or you slide it upwards in order to leave it on constant. I've put the Sonic Scrubber to the test around my home. I've used it to clean several things. Let me show you some of the things that you can clean with a Sonic Scrubber. <laughs>
couple of really, really important points with the Sonic Scrubber. It says specifically in the instructions that come with the device to not use it with bleach. And I think that's because when you are um, cleaning with it, obviously there is a certain amount of spatter that can go here and there and you don't really want that getting in eyes, it can kind of go all over the place. And the other really important thing to note is that you should be really, really careful about using this on certain surfaces because it could scratch or cause paint to come away. It specifically says in the instructions to take care with any tiling grout that is maybe loose. So just always test in a really small area before you use it. Some things that I probably certainly won't be using it on, things like my quartz surface. I'm also gonna be really, really cautious about using it in certain areas of tile grout that I know are a little little bit loose. Although the bristles are soft-ish, there's still enough resistance in them and enough sort of um, power in them when the device is actually on that I think it could cause a bit of damage. So just be really, really cautious where you use it. Always test it in a small area first. And if you're ever unsure, it's maybe just best to avoid areas that you're concerned could be damaged. On the whole then, what did I think of the Sonic Scrubber? I have to say I'm a big, big fan of this device. I'm gonna be using it on a regular basis now, I can tell. What I really loved about it is how it took a lot of effort out of cleaning, and it was really good for getting into tight spaces such as the washing machine drawer and getting down into drains and plug holes and cleaning around the edges and tight corners where it might necess not necessarily be as easy with your hands and a sponge. What I would say about it though is it's not a miracle cleaning product. I did use it to attempt to clean our oven door and it wasn't such a success. Even though I'd put some cleaning product on it, I'd left that to dwell for a little while. Then when I came back with the Sonic Scrubber, just like it was not lifting off easily. To be fair, the oven door was absolutely caked in gunge. It was really, really needing a thorough overnight soak in some kind of oven cleaner but you know just just to sort of manage your expectations a little bit it's very very good at getting off soapy grime and cleaning away dirt that kind of stuff however with really really burnt on grease you're still going to need that power of a really really good cleaning product just to help you out. On the whole then, would I recommend that you get one? Yes, definitely. I'm gonna be using this to clean the hob on a regular basis, I can tell, and also in the bathroom. It has made doing jobs like the sink drains and shower tray drains so much easier. Okay guys, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next upload. Bye.